In this video, we're going to cover how to create a black background on one of your existing photos. So I've already shared a video on how to create a black background, uh, uploading an image to remove.bng, a website where you can upload any existing photo. Uh, I've also shared a portrait mode with the uh, studio uh, lighting mode so that you can create a, a black background straight away using the depth mapping. This one here is a way that you can edit the photo that you have already and um, it gives you a bit more creative control using Snapseed and the Curves tool. So let's get into it. I'm Mike James, more importantly you're a photo enthusiast and this is the sort of thing that allows you to be a bit more creative with your photos and have, have more fun playing around with them. So let's get into it. Tools and let's go Curves and okay, what we got here, if I just tap there to get rid of those presets down the bottom. You've got two anchor points. The top right one is your is your um, uh, white point, and the bottom left is your black point. So what we want to do is we want to reduce all the whites until they're black. And there you go. We've pretty much straight away made the whole image black. Press on the tick. Now up in the top, press on the tiles, history, layers, whatever you want to call it, stacks. Then you go view edits. Tap on the curves, and in the middle you've got the paintbrush. So now we get to paint in exactly where we want to have that black. So we just go and paint roughly around our foreground object. Okay, and you pinch and zoom with two fingers, we can get in a bit closer. And then we'll pinch and zoom again, getting even closer. And as you get as you pinch and zoom more and more, the edge of the black becomes a bit more uh, precise, a bit, a bit sharper. So that can be really good, but also a negative of that is that if you if you zoom in too much, then that becomes the edge becomes a vet very sharp, and it looks like it's just been cut and pasted on there. And it, I mean, we're creating a black background, so it doesn't really matter, does it? All right. But with this edge, because it's a green edge, it kind of if there's any green there, then it will really stand out. Now I'm just going to do a quick job here. And when you're swiping like this, it's it's quite good to, to do a long straight swipe instead of it like that, because then with a long straight one, then you get a, as you as you flow, you're a lot more straight instead of zigzagging all over the place. Well, I find anyway, it's a personal preference. So whichever works for you. Okay, there's the beak. All right, so zoom back out and let's have a look at that. So there we go. So that's a quick way of doing a black background. Have a bit more control with that. If um, if you want to soften those edges up a little bit more, we can go down to 25% with the arrows down the bottom there. And they're not painting over the black areas, but on the actual foreground itself, you can, you can swipe in. And we're adding 25% of black. So instead of having no black on top of the bird, we're adding 25% just to make a little bit of a transition there. And if you go over the edge like I did there, just go back to 100% and go back over the edge again. So we go 25%. Okay, add a little bit more black. Oh, went over the edge again. <laughs> bit tricky. 25%. And when you're adding this 25%, look for areas where there's already existing black, uh, like around the eyes there. Well, existing darkness, I should say. All right, so we could further emphasize that again with the brush tool. We can use the dodging tool, which is a bit more subtle than this, than adding 25% of pure black, because that's a lot of black, isn't it? A lot of shadows. So there we go, that's the quick way using the curves tool. And uh, don't forget to check out those other two videos using remove.bng and the uh, studio lighting of the uh, portrait mode on the iPhone.